Oh. He copied my whole flow. Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar. Oh. Hi everyone, it's Adiola. Welcome to my channel. It's not out of the ordinary to every now and again see a K-pop idol or K-hip-hop rapper getting dragged on the internet for ripping off a black artist. From Korean rapper Blaze Kid going viral for copying Playboy Cardi, to Namjoon of BTS getting dragged for Flojack and Kendrick Lamar, to Tupac's mother taking action against K-pop group Baby Vox for using his music and image without prior permission. The list goes on. Today, we'll be talking about a few times K-pop and K-hip-hop ripped off black artists. Number 1. Blackpink Lisa's Mushroom Chocolate Dance Performance First, let me make it clear that I am not blaming Lisa for this incident. I am fully aware that she just follows whatever her choreographer, Cheshire Ha, teaches her. On April 20th of last year, Lisa posted her YouTube dance performance to Mushroom Chocolate, a song by Quinn and Black. The video gained some virality, with Lisa's legs turning into a meme. People across the internet were putting her legs on different characters, making it appear as if her legs were theirs. An issue came up when choreographer Sierra Nichols posted about her choreography being stolen on her Instagram stories, referencing Lisa's performance. Naturally, as a result of the YouTube algorithm, viewers from Lisa's video had stumbled upon Sierra's choreography video to the exact same song, as it was the only other one to exist on YouTube at the time. Mind you, Sierra's video was posted on March 6, 2019, over a year before Lisa's video. Blinks, the Blackpink fandom, started leaving comments on Sierra's video, saying how they just came from Lisa's video, and Sierra promptly replied to them about Lisa and her choreographer Cheshire copying her dance routine. Once this began to spread, Blink started to harass Sierra, calling her a clout chaser, mocking her dance moves, and even accusing her of pulling the race card. If you look at the video, it's clear that a chunk of Lisa's choreography was a straight rib of Sierra's dance routine, even though Blink's would rather die than admit this. In Sierra's video, she had multiple people perform her choreography. For this side-by-side, -side, I chose one of the dancers that had a similar body type to Lisa and Cheshire for a clearer comparison. You can see they both open their legs to create a triangle form with the floor, then lift their leg, flip over in the same position of one knee on the ground while the other is parallel to the floor, do some leg work, then they turn over, put their legs in the air to do some kicking, and then bring both hands to their neck. They both also go down to the floor, head first, then torso following, with their legs bent in a V. The copying of that hands to neck move is even clearer in Cheshire's video of the choreography. This move is especially notable as it's done to match the lyrics that say, Hold on to me. You can see they both start the move with their legs up in the air, bring them down, and then bringing their hands up to their neck while also bringing their knees up towards their chest. There is no way this is all a coincidence, especially taking into consideration that Cheshire and Sierra follow each other on Instagram, where she most likely originally saw Sierra's choreography for the song. After days of Blinks harassing Sierra across multiple platforms so much that she had to turn off her YouTube comments on her dance video where you can still see the damage Blinks left behind with their mass disliking of the video, Sierra posted a statement to her Instagram. Hello everyone, I want to take the time to clarify recent comments I made that have affected more than myself. First, I apologize to everyone who has been directly affected by this. 
Lisa of Blackpink, YG Entertainment, Cheshire, and Block Talent Agency. My recent comments in no way represent them and who they are as an entity. Being an artist, I feel very deeply for my craft, which led me to say things I feel compassionate about, but most certainly could have been better delivered and should not have been delivered when I was emotionally charged and without serious thought put forth before doing so. At this point, I take great responsibility for the aftermath. Considering the times we are in, and even more so after, I nor anyone should make hateful comments, threats, or harass anyone. This is a lesson to be mindful and a reminder to respect my fellow person's physical and mental well-being. I've learned a great amount from this experience, and that grace and humility is always the answer. After a serious comparison, I will state that there may have been some similarities in regards to the movement, but will say for the record that it was not copied by the choreographer or Lisa, the artist. With love, Sierra Nichols. The next day, Cheshire released a statement apologizing for her silence while also denying having known about Sierra's choreography. In all honesty, you would be able to see that Sierra's choreography was stolen, but she had no choice but to retreat in order to get Blinks to stop harassing her. This wouldn't be the first time a YG artist copied a black artist's choreography without giving credit. Dancer Jay Blaze, who has choreographed for many stars, including Justin Bieber over the years, found his choreography being stolen and performed on TV by a YG trainee team when fellow choreographer Sean Evaristo alerted him on Twitter. Jay Blaze responded with understandable frustration. I'll read you a few of his tweets. Y'all, these n-words didn't just bite moves, they took the whole choreography, LMAO, where's my check, YG? Just to clear things up, I think it's dope that my choreo is on Korean TV. That's amazing. But without my permission, not cool. There weren't any further public updates made in regards to the situation. The video of the YG trainee performance video is no longer available. Number 2. Rain and JYP's new song, Switch To Me A few weeks ago, Rain and JYP got called out for ripping off Bobby Brown's song, Every Little Step, including visuals from the video as well. The songs sound nearly identical, but to avoid copyright, I will link another video below where the copyrighted supplementary material for this video will be compiled. I already checked both the Korea Music Copyright Association and Genius, and there is no indication that rights to a legal sample were obtained. No public updates have been made in regards to this situation either. Personally, I don't find this ripoff surprising, as JYP did something similar before with his 2000s girl group, The Wonder Girls. The concept for one of their biggest hits, Nobody, was a straight copy of The Supremes. This song was monumental to the spread of K-pop as the English version of it was the first K-pop song ever to appear on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. It is no secret that K-pop consistently uses black artistry to break into the Western market. As I've said in previous videos, Bang PD, creator of BTS and Big Hit Entertainment, said it himself. Number 3. Jessie's Drip MV featuring Jay Park When Jessie's video for her song Drip was dropped, Viewers noticed some scenes from the video were an exact copy from singer Diana's music video for her song IDC. With almost every detail ripped from the purple background to the dance moves to the editing effects, all the way down to copying the exact same clothing Diana was wearing, it was obvious. Diana's fans alerted her of the issue, and when she left a comment on Jessie's Instagram about the copying, Jessie brushed her off, saying she had never heard of her, and also randomly acknowledged Nike sponsoring her own music video, appearing to be a covert diss. Like clockwork, Jessie's fans accused Diana of being a clout chaser, and no further public updates were made in regards to the situation. This came as no surprise as Jessie has been called out for appropriating black aesthetics before, so straight up stealing black artistry does not veer far off. Jessie has also been accused of blackfishing due to her body modifications and unnatural black scent. Blackfishing, a term coined by writer Juana Thompson in 2018, is when non-black people adopt black features through means such as excessive tanning, body modifications like lip fillers, chest implants, bottom implants, photo filters, and wearing hairstyles or textures commonly associated with black people, all in an attempt to look black or mix with black. 
Blackfishing is commonly practiced by non-black women who wish to capitalize off of impersonating black women for monetary and social gain. Jessie fits this definition perfectly. Her career as a singer was failing, and she dealt with bouts of homelessness because of this. It was only when she took on this quote-unquote savage hip-hop persona, pursuing rapping after starring in reality TV show Unpretty Rap Star, that her career began to take off. This happened in 2015, around the same time when Jessie started becoming noticeably darker. Embodying a black identity, both musically and physically, catapulted her to stardom. Jessie's fans claim her tan is natural, but that is far from the truth. If you look at older photos of her, you'll see she did have a slight natural tan, but was never, ever as dark as she is today. So many people mistake Jessie for being half black due to how dark she makes herself. Her fans also claim her black scent is natural and a result of her growing up in New Jersey. This is also not true. In older footage, you can hear that Jessie did not have a black scent. It's obvious she just turns it on and off as necessary to fit the black aesthetic she markets today. I started with YMC Entertainment, which yep. is Ailey's company. Ailey's label, yes. yep. And um, uh, one day my, uh, my CEO, he just came up with this proposal like, hey, what do you think of doing this co-ed group? Uh -huh. Hey, who you think you fighting up? Are your little kitties wanna lie? Say, who that be? Who that be? When confronted about the blackfishing and fake black scent accusations, this was Jesse's response. I wanted to clear that out. People keep saying that you're trying to, you're trying to be black. I, I don't know how that's possible. Um, stop saying that I'm blackfishing because y'all just trying to find a reason to hate on a person. I never even knew what that meant. And I asked, like I said, I asked a million people what that meant and nobody knew. So stop saying that I'm blackfishing because all of a sudden, if you look through all my photos since I was like a child, not a child, since I was like maybe 16, 17, I love the sun. A lot of people keep saying that and it's just like, shut the f up, like shut up. How can I try to make myself look black? It's like, it's, okay. Anyways, I don't even want to get into this. I'm just trying to just let you guys know. Um, people who keep saying that I'm trying to be black. How can I try to be black? First of all, I'm from New York, okay? I was raised in Jersey and all my friends are New York. So every time I go to New York, all my girls are in New York. So this is how I talk. I've been talking like this. How am I going to fake a f***ing accent? It makes no f***ing sense i have a deep voice we all sound the same all right everybody sounds the same in new york okay i'm not like a valley girl no i grew up with two little brothers very very strong um this is who i am you know what i'm saying one day my uh my ceo he just came up with this proposal so every time i go to new york all my girls are in new york make sure to like comment subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later.